All right, so I'm doing this case review on three different uh, rack bags for the ActiveX. For those that didn't want to sit through the, the long uh, kind of review for each, uh, I just want to give you a quick overview. So the first one, the SKB, um, this is two space. Uh, I think this is the most durable in my opinion. Um, it's the biggest um, and it's the heaviest as well but it's got the most rigid, I think, and uh, flaps from the front to back. It's got the most clearance front to back. Um, it's also got the most clearance top and bottom in the case. So if you're worried about airflow, that's, uh, that's a plus to this case. My only issues with it, I'm not a huge fan of the handle. It's just a little more flimsy than the other ones. Um, and for my purposes, it's a little bigger than I personally want. Doesn't mean it's not good for you. Uh, I also found that because the inside, even though it's super durable, it doesn't have any soft lining, and I wasn't really a fan of that. Um, but that said, it seems pretty solidly built, and it's the least expensive of the three. Next up is the Gator GRB2U. Um, what I like about this case is that uh, Instead of it being, you know, vertical with the handle on top, it actually sits horizontal. Um, I think it's just, it, it has a lower profile of the ground, so I think it's less likely you're going to knock it over. It's got a soft inner lining, which I like, um, and then this front pocket, you'll see in the hands-on thing, um, it's got cable organizers um, inside of that, so that I thought was pretty cool. I didn't like that there's no clearance top to bottom, so it's so flush inside here. Um, I know a lot of people have said that the Axpex doesn't need airflow. I, I'm just personally would like a little bit of room on top, uh, but this is pretty much flush against the, the wood inside. Um, also the back doesn't have a rigid panel. It's got the rubber feet, um, so you know it clears the floor without you know anything going up underneath it, but because there's no panel there, it's just, just a flap. Uh, I'm a little concerned about that. All right, so this is case three, the Roadrunner RK PRC2. Um, what I like about this case is the most lightweight of the three. Um, it's also got a pretty soft padded front flap where the Axe FX face is. Um, and it's got a comfortable rubber handle, which I like. Um, what I don't like about it is that the back panel is, you know, it's got a rigid frame in there, but it's not as thick as the SKB um, back panel. That's the most expensive, and I thought these feet on the bottom could be a little bit more stable when you're standing it up. So um, that's the quick overview. Uh, let's get to the hands-on review. So this is the SKB case. Um, I think this is the biggest, um, heaviest by a small margin, um, probably the most durable, with the exception of the handle which it seems like it's, it's the most flimsy handle of the three. Um, I haven't tested it for a long period of time to know how it's gonna hold up, but it's just not as comfortable to me than the other two handles. So for the front panel here, we have a lot of clearance. Um, the whole inside, even though it's made of plywood, um, it's got this lining throughout the whole thing. Now the lining's great, because it seems like it's, it'll last, um, <clears throat> except the only thing is the front inside here <clears throat> isn't soft. It's the same kind of like nylon material. If you're picky, kind of like I am, then that's just kind of like, you know, not awesome to have kind of covering the face of the Axe FX. Um, for me personally, zipper pocket for cables and stuff here. Um, it's a cool feature, but it makes more sense if it would go on the back or something because I, I wouldn't put metal cables and stuff and then smash them against the front of the Axe FX. Um, although I know this is for other things besides the Axe FX, I still don't think putting stuff in the front and pushing it against the face of whatever you're housing is probably the best option. Besides that, it does have a decent amount of padding. Um, it's got these, this Velcro on the outside so you can, and the Velcro kind of attaches to there so it'll stay kind of, kind of closed and out of the way. Overall, fairly solidly built. This is also the least expensive of the three, which, uh, which is cool. Um, if we open up the back, uh, 
Um, again, plenty of clearance. Um, and not doesn't seem maybe not quite as much padding on the back. Um, it's still decent, um, but again, you have enough clearance where um, I don't think it's going to be a big issue. Um, none of these cases I would keep anything plugged in um, in the back just because there's not a lot of clearance, even though this one has the most, um, you know, unless you're getting right angle cables and stuff like that. I mean, I wouldn't want cables knocking around in here when I'm transporting it, so I wouldn't do that. Um, the other interesting thing about this case is that there's a lot of a lot of room on top and bottom, well, mostly on top, but either way, so that kind of will be good for heat um, and just air circulation, which I know the Axe FX doesn't need a ton of, but um, it's always good if, if that's something that you're um, concerned about. So let's close that up. Now the front of the case, um, or I guess say the top or whatever you want to call it, it's got this pocket. It's pretty thin, um, not much to it. It just kind of, you, you can see they just kind of added it on the top of the same part of the case. Uh, you can probably have some cables in there. It seems like a pretty quality case, especially for the price, because again, it's the lowest price of the three. Okay, this is the gear bag. Um, this one is loaded uh, and, and, and sits a little differently, so instead of um, the handle being atop there and it being sideways to be sitting like this, um, the rubber feet are actually on this side and uh, the pocket's like that. Um, so let's open the front panel. Now, <clears throat> I've owned Gator cases in the past. They always have a nice soft material used, usually used on the inside. This is no different. Um, it's got a soft uh, material for the front face. There's a good amount of clearance here. Um, probably maybe an inch, maybe a little less. Um, but I think it's probably good enough for the X. Um, it's got this a rigid plastic thing in there with soft case in the front, so or soft uh, material in the front. So I think the front face is, is decent. Um, also, on the inside, uh, this case is made of plywood. It doesn't have any clearance in the top or bottom, which concerns me a little bit about heat and uh, airflow. is so flush with the Axe FX, it's just right up on it. Um, something to note. The handles, they don't attach to each other. They're just two, I don't know if it's wood or cork or something in here, but it's, they're really firm. They're actually, it's kind of easy to, to kind of grip. Um, not quite as comfortable as the Roadrunner handle, but I think it's a little better than the SKB handle. Forgot to mention from the SKB video that uh, it does also come with a strap. This one has a little bit more of a padded strap. Um, and because it's, uh, I guess, horizontal the way you hold it, um, is a little bit more comfortable to like throw on your shoulder than the SKB case. Um, so here's the only problem I run into the, with, this, with this case. Um, so if I open up the zipper, which is a little funky to open because of the shape, I'm sure you can work that in. Um, it doesn't open all the way, you know, it has this oval kind of shape, which would be fine, except this thing, unless I'm an idiot, which I may be, um, I can't seem to get this thing kind of all the way out of the way. It's just kind of in the way, you know, in the way I set up my XFX, um, I actually sometimes might have to use the back panel for, for this kind of case. And the way I sit it on top of my keyboard, I think this would just be a pain. Um, also, there is no frame inside of this. I think they're, they're kind of banking on the fact that you have the rubber feet here that kind of clear this panel so nothing's going to jam in there but you can see it just goes in because this case doesn't have any sort of protection just a little bit of soft padding on the inside um, other than that the case is decent I like the fact that it's not super heavy it's in the middle of the three probably coming in at about eight pounds um, what's the other cool the other cool thing feature about this case is the pocket even though it's super thin like most of them um, it's got these cool cable loop so you can loop up to four cables um, uh, without having to kind of get them all tangled so that's hey, it's a cool feature so here's the Roadrunner bag it's the most expensive of the three but it's also the most lightweight 
Um, let's look at the handle first. It's got this rubberized or rubber grip. It's pretty comfortable to hold. Um, I'm a fan of that. If I go around the front panel of the Axifex and open this up. Um, you got clearance, not quite as much clearance as you have with the SKB, but it's still about an inch. The front, it's got this super padded, um, soft uh, material, which I totally dig. Um, there is some clearance on the top a little bit, maybe for airflow, um, not as much as the SKB again, but probably good enough for the Axifex. Um, so I really like this padded um, material. I'm not really concerned. I think there's enough clearance here where I'm not really concerned about the front. Um, so that's good. Um, one thing to note though, because this one is the lightest weight, the reason for that is the main shell is plastic. It's not wood. So um, just something to note. Close that up. Um, I go to the back. Now the back, <clears throat> the back panel isn't cushioned. It got this really thin piece of plastic. It's kind of flexible. Um, it's probably okay because when it's closed, you don't want to put anything heavy on it, but you know it seems durable enough. Um, I was worried that if this didn't have enough clearance in the back, that you know that would be a concern. But I think that's not really a concern like I thought it would be. Um, finally, the top, the zippered. This is a uh, nice huge deep zipper compartment holds probably hold a good amount of stuff it's kind of interesting the zipper stops here but then it kind of goes all the way down here so you can actually open it up and they even have these little holes here where you can route cabling through more for like a laptop I don't think that's really the best thing for the Axifex just because there's not not a lot of clearance in the back to put XLR cables and stuff like that um, so like it's still pretty good. You can kind of coil some cables and hold some stuff in there. Um, it's not much of a pocket. It's more for like the laptop or something. Um, it does have a separate thin pocket here to hold some cables and stuff. The last thing I wanted to mention is that the feet, plastic, they don't, kind of stands up, but it's, I wouldn't stand it up for too long or in a public place where it could be knocked over because it's not very stable as much as I'd like. It does have these little handles here though, so it's easy to kind of grab on both sides to to put on um, a rack or your, or, or I'm sorry, a rack stand or or somewhere where you're gonna put the, the Axe Effects.